Do you want to create a drop down menu like this, which looks premium and has all the elements like text, icons, and checkbox? This is super simple, so even a non technical person can follow. Our first step is to go to figma.com and sign into your account. And when you reach here, go here on the top and click the Design File button. Choose the Draft option to start creating our menu. We need to create a frame first, so I'll just go to the top here and click the Frame button. Then make a frame like this. On the right, I'll adjust the width to 300 and the height to 80. Now I'll go here and add some text to my frame like this. I'll type select food for now. Let's change the font size. So I'll go here, change the font size to 32 and drag the text box right in the center of the frame. Like any other drop down menu, let's add an arrow right beside the select food text. The best thing is Figma offers ready to use templates and icons, which I can access using this button on the top. Now click on plugins. Search for icon and select icon scout. Now I'll go to the search bar and look for downward icon. Just drag and drop it here, close the icon scout window and resize this by clicking here. I'll select both the text and the arrow like this and move it to the center. If you don't like the font on this text, just go to your right and change it from here. This looks good to me, so I'll leave it as it is. To add items into the drop down, I'll duplicate this frame and increase the height to 320. The arrow got stretched, so let's delete it and I'll copy it from here and paste it here. I'll create a new frame with the dimensions we used earlier. I'll add a text box and change it to pizza like this. Now to add icons, I'll go here and look for emoji to plugin. Let's run it and in this window, I'll search for pizza. Let's drag and drop the pizza icon here and using the same steps, I look for hamburger and pasta and drag them here as well. Now let's drop the pizza icon in place and adjust it like this. Okay, this looks good and I'll quickly make similar frames for the pasta and burger. I'll select this elements, right click on my mouse and select on the group selection button. You can see that they are grouped together in the left sidebar too. Now I'll drag and drop each item frame in the menu frame that I created here. And this is how it will look when someone clicks on this menu. All right, the next step is to create hover animation so that when I hover over any items, they get highlighted like this. So let's right click on the menu frame, copy it and paste it here. Now select the pizza option and go to the right sidebar. Click on this fill option, choose black and change the percentage to 25%. I'll do the same thing for pasta and burger items as well. And once it's done, it will look something like this. Next, I'll copy this pizza option and paste it here. Let's do the same for pasta and burger. And then I'll fill the pizza option with the purple color. Now I'll copy the color code for this and use it across other options as well. And when it's done, it will look something like this. Now these options are what you see when you make a choice in the drop down menu. So I would need to add a downward arrow here as well. So if you ever choose an option by mistake, then you can go back and make another selection. So I'll drag the downward arrow and add it to the three options like this. Along with this, the last frame we need to make is the select foot frame with an upward arrow to close the drop down menu. So I'll copy and paste this frame we created like this and to turn the arrow upside down, right click on it and select the flip vertical option. Awesome. Our menu is ready and now comes the important part that is prototype. So go here and click on the prototype button to switch to prototype dashboard. Before I move on to the next step, this is not an ad. Since you work with websites, I have something cool to share in five seconds. I built a free speed plugin called Airlift where you can paste your URL and get a 90 plus speed score. Just go to elif.net and give it a try. Next, drag this small plus button and connect the food option to the open drop down menu that we created. I'll make sure this interaction is on click like this and change it to smart animate from here. To make it smoother, I'll change the animation speed to 500 and connect the pizza option to this highlight frame. 
like this. I'll change this to interact while hovering and change navigate to open overlay. Now using the same steps, I'll add transitions for the pasta and burger options as well. Once done, it will look something like this. Next, if someone clicks on the highlighted pizza option, the menu should disappear and pizza should be selected. For this, I'll connect the highlighted option for pizza to the selected pizza frame. Here, I'll use the on click option and navigate to interaction. Once done, let's add the same interactions for pasta and burger as well. Now, I'll connect this select food option to this frame with the inverted arrow and also connect the other select food option just like this. I'll also connect this frame to the first select food frame using the while hovering transition like this. Lastly, let's set up the final transition so that you can go back to the drop down menu if you selected a wrong option. To do that, I'll connect these options to open this main menu frame. Now to see if the technical part works properly, I'll go on top and click on this play icon. Okay, the clicks are fine. The hover looks great and the selection also works. Now let's take this menu to another level. In the same design, I'll put checkboxes like this. So just copy this design from above and paste them here like this. Now I'll open my icon scout window, search for the checkbox and drag it here. I'll also drag this unselected box as well. All right, let's quickly adjust the sizes to 25 I'll position the boxes from the right sidebar here and place the checkbox here. Let's copy these checkboxes and paste them in all the options and once done, it will look something like this. Now make sure the boxes are set properly and all are in the right position. Next, I don't need to highlight these options anymore because now we have checkboxes to show that. So let's revert the color to white for all three selected menu options. So to do that, I'll select the frame like this and just click on the fill option and change the color to white. I'll repeat the same steps for all the options and once done, it should look something like this. And we are done. Now let's select all these checkboxes. So I'll go to my right and from the fill option, I'll change it to something like this. Now to make sure that these frames have the same interaction, I'll click on the prototype button and set the interactions. Let's drag this here and set it to Smart Animate and then drag it again to the frame like this. In the pop-up, I'll change this to While Hovering. I'll change this to Overlay. And for these frames, I'll drag each option to the respective frames one by one like we did before. All right, now that everything is done, let's quickly test it out. I'll go on top and click this Play button. Okay, uh, let's click on this drop-down menu select an option and yeah, it works fine. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. See you next time. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.